Today I'll be demonstrating a device I created called the Nerfi Monitor, a 2.4 GHz band and Wi-Fi analyzer toolkit made with the D1 Mini and the NRF24L01. Hi everyone! Recently I got my hands on NRF24L01, and I was interested in pursuing a project in relation to the 2.4 GHz band and wiper reconnaissance. After seeing a couple of videos from CypherTac involving the NRF24, I was inspired to make my own NRF24 device that combined the functionality of the B1 Mini and the NRF24L01. The catch was, I was scheduled to go on a trip two days after the idea materialized in my head, giving me only 48 hours to design and build the project. After two all-nighters and countless hours of work, I was able to create the NerdFi monitor, a 2.4 GHz band and Wi-Fi analyzer toolkit. Wi-Fi works by sending electromagnetic radio signals, including data, through a wireless router to nearby devices. Most wireless routers today use a 2.4 GHz radio frequency to transmit internet to nearby devices. Lots of devices use the 2.4 GHz frequency, including microwaves, security cameras, phones, laptops, etc. By using the NRF24L01, we can sniff for device traffic within our vicinity by using the receiver capability of the NRF24. We can also obtain information about local Wi-Fi access points by using the Wi-Fi sniffing capabilities of the ESP8266. I was able to create a Wi-Fi scanner for this feature that displays information of Wi-Fi data packets such as the SSID, channel number, MAC address, and the encoded type. Lastly, I integrated a vicinity checker, which lets you select the Wi-Fi access point and displays the signal strength of the network using the RSSI, also known as the Received Signal Strength Indicator the materials for the NerdFi monitor include a 10x24 perf board, a 128x64 OLED, 4 8 32 screws, a D1 Mini, a 3D printed case, some pin headers, two push buttons, and an NRF24L01. I began the design process of this project by creating a breadboard outline using Fritzing. I connected all the components based on the pinouts I included in the README for this project. After the breadboard wiring was complete, I created a schematic using KiCad. I designed the case for the device using Fusion 360. The case includes four screw inserts, an OLED cutout, two button cutouts, an antenna cutout, a SDPT insert, and a USB slot. I began the assembly process by connecting all the components together on a few mini breadboards. Notice, I used the breakout module for the NRF24 for the breadboarding process, which I later omitted in the final design. Once the breadboarded device was working, I began soldering everything together on top of a piece of perf board. I began by attaching the D1 Mini to the perf board using two pen headers. Then, I removed the breakout module from the NRF24 and soldered it onto the edge of the perf board. I then attached the OLED display to the front of the case by placing it inside the insert and securing it into place with some super glue. I also placed the SDPT switch into its designated spot and secured it with more super glue. I accidentally made the button holes too big, so I fixed the problem by using a bit of modeling clay and glue. Then, I soldered the connections between the NRF24 and the D1 Mini with some thin wires and I finished it off by connecting the OLED to the D1 Mini and securing the case together with the 8 32 screws. Once the build is complete, the device should light up with the proper display once it is flashed with the code on the GitHub repository. To get started with the programming of the device, clone the code from the GitHub repository linked below. 
then ensure you install the ESP8266 board by installing it from the Arduino board manager. After that, follow the setup installation instructions listed in the README and your code should be good to go. The features of the NERFI monitor include a traffic analyzer that analyzes the device traffic on the 2.4 GHz frequency, which can be switched between 11 channels and display traffic within the distribution display. Next step is the Wi-Fi scanner, which can monitor nearby Wi-Fi access points, view the associated metadata for those access points, and can be altered between automatic and manual modes. Finally, the vicinity detector can select from nearby Wi-Fi access points, view the RSSI info and percentage of each network, and indicate the signal strength using a meter display. The NERFI monitor also features a small and compact form factor that is roughly this half the size of a TI-84 calculator, as shown. To test out the NERFI monitor, I visited a local mall with a device and a portable charger on hand. As you can see, it was able to monitor device traffic at the mall and scan for nearby Wi-Fi access points. Overall, I was very happy with how this prototype turned out and look forward to implementing more improvements in the future.